Hello, my name is Adam Short and I'm with Short Financial Group. And today I'd like to show you one of the common mistakes that are made in QuickBooks Online and how to troubleshoot and fix it. This is Craig's Design and Landscape Services, which is a fake company, but it's called the QBO Test Drive and you can access it by Googling QBO Test Drive and it's absolutely free. It allows you to experiment and play around with QBO without paying for it or messing up your actual accounting file. What I want to do is, first of all, I want to go to customers and I want to show you what a common mistake is that people make when they try to receive a payment from a customer or client. If you have not entered an invoice first in the QBO and then you go to receive a payment, that payment will not be applied against any invoice and you will have a problem with your books. So let's do that. Let's say we received a payment today from a customer. So a lot of people, what they do is they'll go in and they'll click receive payment without having entered an invoice first. So that I'm, I'm showing you the wrong way first so you can know what people do wrong. Let's say Amy's Bird Sanctuary paid us by check number one, two, three for $100. but we didn't associate this payment with any invoice. What happens to that? Well, let me go to Amy's Bird Sanctuary and see. Look, here's the payment, September 12th, check number 123 for $100. Okay, if I click that check, well, we see that QuickBooks automatically associated that payment with invoice 1021. I'm going to uncheck that because I want it to be, I want to show you what happens when it's not associated with an invoice. Okay, now immediately we see that this payment is unapplied. If we were to run a transaction journal on this transaction, we would see the following. We see that, uh, that undeposited funds was debited or increased by $100, accounts receivable credited by $100. The problem is, if I were to run a transaction detail report on accounts receivable, it would be unbalanced because that particular payment was not associated with an invoice. So here we are back at Amy's Bird Sanctuary. It says unapplied. so. We want to click that transaction and we want to go in and we want to actually apply it to an invoice, meaning we want that payment to credit against an open invoice. So we're going to recheck that box for invoice 1021. And we see now that the payment of $100 is being applied against the original amount of $459. And now our open balance says $239. When I'm finished, I'll click save and close. Now you'll see that the open balance is $139 because we just applied an additional 200, I'm sorry, additional $100 against it. And now that payment shows closed because it was applied to that invoice. So just know that if you ever are in a customer record and you see unapplied as the status, that is a problem, that is an error and that's how to fix it. If there was not an invoice already entered it, um, that would correspond to that payment, then you can enter the invoice via the plus sign at the top center or under new transaction, you can click an invoice. And then after the invoice is entered, you can apply that payment by clicking the checkbox. And that is how to fix unapplied payments in QuickBooks Online. I hope this video has been very informative for you. Please check out our additional videos at shortfinancial.com. Until then, happy bookkeeping.